Anyways, Jung's claim was that the archetypal images are religious, fundamentally. That they hit you with the force of religious. Uh, what's the word? Re revelation. So, so that's all in that picture. You say, you know, picture's worth a thousand words, and that one's worth a lot more than a thousand. You know, you also might ask yourself, you know, why don't people do what's right? It's a good question, because hypothetically they could. And the answer seems to be something like, well, transforming yourself into something that's continually better means continually being swallowed up by something like this. And so it's hard and frightening. So that's why people aren't enlightened. And there's got to be some reason, given that it's hypothetically possible. You know, when you hear people like Joseph Campbell say things like, follow your bliss, you know, and so that sounds pretty easy. You want to develop your personality, just do what you love. You know, it's a corruption of Carl Jung's thinking, because Jung would say, well, follow what you're interested in, it'll take you somewhere you really don't want to go. And then maybe you'll learn something. So, and that's a whole different, that's a whole different proposition. So...